Hey, what's up guys, Sahaman back, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys, The Art of Spawn, cover issue number seven. We are taking a look at Spawn. Now this figure right here guys, this was actually given to me from as a gift from one of my viewers, Ing Chris. So I'm pretty sure you're gonna watch this video. So if you are watching this video, man, thank you for sending me this figure. This is a figure that I actually really wanted. And I remember you had mentioned this to me in a Facebook message a while ago, and you sent me this, and um, I haven't gotten around to reviewing it, and I'm finally gonna review it. So thank you again, Ing Chris, for sending this out my way. Really, really appreciate it. If you guys don't know, I am a Spawn fan. Uh, I picked up Spawn issue number one actually when it first came out back in the 90s. And uh, I think I only went up to issue number, I don't know, it was a little after he got the change in his suit. And then I just kind of fell off um, the Spawn comics. I love the movie. I hope McFarlane gives us another movie. I heard he was bringing out some new toys coming out soon from Spawn, so I can't wait for that. Anyways, so there is this is a 7 inch scale figure. There is a 12 inch version of this, which I think is pretty rare. And I think it's kind of pricey, but these are pretty much kind of, they're, they're, they're just like statues, guys. But now the Art of Spawn series, again, this is figure, this is series number 26. They basically made figures from issues from covers of Spawn. So I'll show you guys a quick image of the um, issue that this is based off of. But it's really cool. He's got a really nice machine gun that's right here attached to his um, hand. You can't remove it, at least I don't think you can. Um, Ing sent me this loose, and I was looking at images of it in the package, and it looks like he's just stuck in this position the way it is. And then he's got another gun right here on the back, and this one also seems to be attached or glued to the back, but you can see the straps right here. Very, very nice. I mean, look at the detailing and the cape. It is like a soft rubber material, and you can see some of the, the nice sculpt work. And uh, it's you can see this kind of opens up right here, the flap. But look at all the detailing right here. And it kind of curves, whoops, it kind of curves around the um, the feet right here. And if you can open it up so you can see his legs, so you can see the spikes around the feet. And then he's got a bunch of little straps around the, the thigh area with little pouches. And he does have little chains right here. You can see that and he's got the skull for the belt and a bunch of little pouches right there as well. And he's got the rounds right here, which is looks very, very cool. Look how dope that looks. All the cool little detailing on there. He's got a knife right here under the forearm. None of that is removable, but he's got one right there. He's got some bombs right over here on the upper right arm. You see the pins right there on the top. He's got those two skulls right there on each shoulder with an actual chain. And he's got another spike little um, armband right there on the bicep area. The head sculpt looks pretty nice. I mean, it obviously looks like a spawn figure. So you can see the head sculpt right there. And he does have the collar of the cape, which is a softer material. And it's kind of flowing. One, this one's flowing this way. And this one's kind of going forward. But a very, very nice figure, guys. Now, like I said, these are pretty much statues. They're not really articulated at all like right now i'll let you know like the head can rotate the arm doesn't rotate the lower hand doesn't rotate this one here he's got like a swivel at the um kind of like in the bicep area and he's got rotation in the hand and he's got spikes right here this hand over here does not rotate whatsoever uh it doesn't look like there's no bend at the knee no foot rotation at all he does have peg holes there and uh, no waist articulation, but that's pretty much it for this figure. It's just a very, very nice display piece. Really cool, you know, to display with all my other figures because I do have several Spawn figures that I'm going to be doing reviews on very soon. And there is a statue I'm on the lookout for, which is I know is very rare and very expensive of him and Batman. If you guys have seen it, if you guys own it, let me know in the comments below and let me know what you think of it. But this is a really, really cool figure, guys. Again, thank you, Ing, for sending this out my way. And uh, oh, forgot to mention this right here. He does have more little weapons right here. He's got a pouch and another grenade right here. So this this spawn right here is ready to go to war. But let me know what you guys think about this figure. If you guys have this or the 12-inch version, let me know in the comments below. If you guys do want to see more spawn figures, let me know because I do have quite a few spawn figures. So let me know in the comments below, guys. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace.